What's up? Uh, we're here at Azusa Lounge, our favorite hookah spot out here in Las Vegas. And I'm here with Ruby. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, science and current events. And, and ask nerd questions yeah. to the nerd. Uh, Probably by the end we'll see that she's actually the nerd. Um, so I thought, since since Ruby's in real estate, I thought it'd be fun to ask her how she feels about colonizing Mars. It's a topic that I find super interesting, uh, and I kind of want to find out what a real estate agent's perspective would be on colonizing Mars. So, have you have you read anything about uh, Mars colonization? Well, I did hear what like a year or two ago that they're doing. I guess you could write your like an essay and see why they should choose you to go and colonize Mars. That's only a one-way trip. You can't come back. Okay, so so the Mars One mission. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, would you go? If I could come back, yeah. Okay, so only if you can come back, then yeah. you'd go. But yeah. you wouldn't go one way. No. Um, is that because you'd miss your family or because it's inhospitable? Um, probably a little of everything. Like okay. if you go and you're only going with 10 people and you hate them, you have to be confined in space, I okay. would tell someone. So you're, not, you're saying you would not want to spend, so like the journey is like 6 to 8 months. So 6 yeah, to 8 months. you have to live in Mars for the rest of your life. With okay, so let me try and sweeten the deal. Imagine it's like your best friend. Your boo, uh, your boo's bestie that you happen to like, and a couple of others of your like common friends. No. 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 Real like, uh, relationships change. Besties change. Like people are coming in and out of your life all the time. So if you're gonna be stuck with five people, even if they're your best friend, uh, it's gonna be hard. So what about the SpaceX plan? So SpaceX is like way more ambitious. They don't want to just send 10 people. They want to send like a million people or like 100,000 people. So you actually have like a little city. <laughs> no. <laughs> you still wouldn't want to? Like, I'd be scared as shit. Like, honestly, just totally fine. So would you do it? I would think about it, but I'd, I'm definitely leaning towards yes. Just because I think it would be like the craziest, most fun adventure ever. I mean, it would be crazy, it would be fun. Uh, like taking the journey and being mm -hmm. there. So probably like after a month it would be boring and you would want your normal life back. The thing is like, I think it would be crazy because basically your entire life purpose would just be to like survive and grow the colony, which I think is just, you'd feel more fulfilled. Like say you're living on well, Earth here. I guess it depends what each person, like in your case, that would make you happy. My purpose in life is not to survive, mine is to, I don't know, travel here on Earth. There's, inf possible. there's infinite <laughs> real <estate>. okay, <laughs> infinite real estate potential in Mars. Oh, really? You have like so yeah, you, we're all gonna live under one. You have you have an entire planet that is like has the land mass. Okay, so of I'm like gonna the Earth. be like, sure, you can buy this rock over here. You can buy this volcano. Yeah, exactly. It's the property value is just gonna go up. It's just gonna go up the whole time. Um. <laughs> So what about um, what about like space exploration in general? That would be awesome as long as I could always come back. Okay, so even if, suppose you don't have to go, suppose like other people, do you think it's like a worthy like investment of money for us as a civilization or as a country? If we could do it, and yes, that would be awesome. Like, so I guess. It's hard, this, this is a problem I find when I'm trying to like sell this idea to people who aren't in science. It's like, how much money would you be willing to spend on a project? Because all these projects are super expensive, right? But like our brains aren't really used to thinking in terms of like, you know, millions and millions of dollars that like these projects cost. And so I think when we like sell these things, we should try and like sell them in terms of like how much fraction of your taxes would go towards it. So like, imagine I said, okay, we could go to Mars 
Isn't yeah. there like a private funder that is actually doing stuff to go to Mars besides NASA? So, so there's a couple of uh, companies. So there's there's SpaceX. Uh, they're probably the furthest along as far as having like sustained space flight or commercial space flight. Uh, there's also Blue Origin, which is uh, another company. And there, there might be others as well that I don't know about. Um, but yeah, I actually think private industry is probably like 10 times better yeah. at it than government. Um, just to make a political statement. Mm -hmm. Hate big government, no. Um, it's like, it's like, Imagine every person in the U.S. devoted, like, probably to go to Mars would probably cost, like, $100 per person. Which, like, sounds a lot cheaper than, like, $30 billion. And so I feel it's, like, a better way to sell it. Yeah. Um, like, do you know what NASA's budget is? Roughly. Billion. So how many billions? Uh, I don't know, 5.2 billion. Oh my god, You're trying to give us a pay cut. 20? No, it's a bit less. I think I think it's like 14 billion oh, around. A year? A year. Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> you think that's a lot? Oh, yeah, but think of all the think of all the nerds that it like pays for. Like all the scientists, all the engineers. Oh, maybe we should cut their pay oh a little bit. That way, we have more money left over to use for actually traveling. No, you see, that won't work. That won't work because then it's like all my friends in grad school, they leave science and go work for Apple and Google <laughs> because they can pay them more money. So it's, it's a bad like prospect. Well, in that case, it means that your colleagues <laughs> are enough more for the money than for actually discovering something and going to a different planet or to outer space. That's it, we're getting shit talk right now. Scientists are greedy people. We just, we're, just we're, in it, we're in it for the money. That's why we're in science. I'm not saying in science. I'm just saying that if Google paid you better or Apple, you would go and work for them building computers instead of doing something greater for the greater mankind, I guess. She made me feel bad, so I'm going to work after this. All right, so uh, Ruby, what's your book recommendation for uh, the week? Mine is, the last one I read was called Off Season by Jack Ketchum, and it's a very dark uh, book, so I really like it and I do recommend it. All right, so check it out. It's called I'll see Alright, and we'll include the link below. Uh, Alright, well that's all the time we have today. Um, we have to go back to work because it's not only fun and games in Las yeah, Vegas when you actually live money. here. Yeah, you gotta go, we gotta go make for the money. Stripper. And to play for the Mars trip. Well, thanks for having me. Thanks for answering my questions. And I'll see you next time. Peace.